Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Chutwani once again from learnhypervision.com. Today in this video, we'll talk about how to handle multiple tabs or windows in Playwright. So till now, we have seen how to work with a single tab or the single page, and we are able to work with different kind of web elements. So this is the playlist which I have covered where we discussed everything in detail, and in the last few videos, we discussed how to handle autocomplete alert frames. So till now we have worked only with single pages, but today in order to deal with multiple tab or multiple windows, we have to use something called browser and the new context. So let me first show you this in a incognito window, what exactly we are trying to achieve. So till now, the moment I click on new sign up, I'm getting this page. If I want to do any activity I can do on this page. And if I have to do sign in, I can do that. But the moment you click on, let's say a new icon, in this case, if I click on Facebook, it's opening in a new tab. Same goes for LinkedIn. If I open LinkedIn, it's opening in a new tab. So now we have to switch from this tab to this tab. I have to switch my focus from this tab to this tab so that I can start working on this. By default till now we have worked on a single pages, but today we'll see how to switch and how to switch back to your primary tab or window and how you can perform operation. That is our main task for today. So what we have to do, uh, let's jump into the VS code. So here I already have one spec file handle hyphen windows dot spec dot JS and I've written a test function and the test name is working with multiple tabs. Till now we have used only pages, right? Because we were dealing with single page. Since we have to deal with multiple pages, I am going to change little bit and we have to use something called browser. So browser is going to represent the playwright browser that we will be working. Now, once you got this browser, what you can do just type browser and now you have to use a new term called context. So what I will say, I'm going to create a new context. And if you put mouse over, it is going to return you a promise. So basically you will be getting a new context. So what exactly is the context? So you can consider like uh, context is nothing but a separate environment that you will be getting. Okay. So you can use this environment for browsing. So if this context can have multiple pages its own cookies, browser specific data. So whatever changes you have to make, you can make within this context. Okay. So it's a separate environment for browsing. Now, once you get this context, you will create pages. You can create single page, multiple pages. So let me first store this into a const variable. Okay. So I will say this is the context that we have. You can use any variable name. I'm using context so that we can connect easily. So we have the browser. We got the new context. Now I can create pages in order to work with a uh, browser. So this is one page. This is another page. This is a third page and so on. So in order to create a new page, I will say context. Then I will say new page. I'm going to create a new page where basically we will be interacting. So we're going to create a new page and let me store this into another page variables const page. So we got the context. We are going to create a new page. So page represents a particular tab or window. Now I can continue with whatever applications I want to automate. So let's say I want to automate this application. So I will use page dot go to. Okay, so you can use basically await page dot go to and I will pass the application URL. Now, once we are done, let's say I want to click on this Facebook so that I should get a new tab. So let me quickly write one quick XPath. I already have selectors of plugin, so I'm going to use that plugin so that we can save some time. Let me inspect this Facebook icon. Okay. So I'm going to use this hyperlink. 
you can see we have two Facebook logo here one is this one is this so if I write one quick xpath that find a hyperlink which contains href Facebook find a hyperlink which contains href Facebook so it's matching two right this is one this is two now I can further optimize this xpath to get the unique link but the main motto of this video is to show you how to handle multiple tabs so I will use index for the time being that I am looking for the first element now come back now before we click we have to use something called promises so let me talk about what exactly is promises now let me use promise so the moment I promise dot all and if you see the description an array of promises creates a promise that resolve with an array of result when all the provided promises resolves or rejected when any promise is rejected and what it returns it returns a new promise so basically in this all we have to provide array of promises that we want either to be resolved or rejected in our case we want until all the promises are not resolved wait right so let me just keep it in a structured manner yeah and let's keep a wait here so the first promise that we want basically the moment you click on this link okay the moment you click on this icon it is going to initiate a new page it is going to initiate a new page right which is nothing but a tab so we are going to use context this is the context that we have used because new tab will be coming in the same browser so I will say context dot wait for event which event we are looking for page event no need to use await here okay that's all you need to do and once this promise will resolve then you will be getting a new promise so that I will store here in a separate variable and it will return you array of promises so we are going to use destructuring so whenever this promise resolves we will get a new page so this is one promise that we are passing within this promises dot all you also have to perform this click okay so we have used this xpath right I'm going to use this xpath so I will use again page dot locator and I will pass the xpath and I will say dot click now since it's an array I will use comma here so this is one promise that I want to resolve this is another promise once these promises will resolve we will get array we don't want to store this into a variable what I want is the new page which will be loading after clicking on this link right so once these two promises are resolved we will get a new promise so this new page is going to represent new tab for us okay so this is our page which is this page and when the promises will resolve this will be our new page now let's say I want to perform some activity on this new tab so let's say I want to click on create a new account button or maybe I want to inspect and type here let's do the typing here so I can use this name attribute so this is input box this is a span let me use this now if you notice we also have this username and password here as well username password and login button 
you might see multiple matching nodes so let's inspect again we got uh, name equal to email so I will type double slash input we have 34 matching nodes if I give find name attribute where name equal to email we got two matching node this is the second one first one on the top so let's say I want to type to the second one again you can write better x path that it should only match with one just to save some time I will go with second index which is matching with email I will copy this see guys if you have to work on the new page you will use this new page but if you want to work with the original page you will use this I want to type on the new page so I will use new page now and I will write await new page dot located and I want to type something so I will use fill and let me use mukesh at the rate gmail.com okay so let's try this first if this works then we'll continue with the next step so quick recap we have used browser and we called one method called new context we'll get the context of this browser now within this context I can have multiple pages so we are creating a first page we're opening the main URL or base URL the moment I click on this I will be getting a new page so we have used promises.all once these two promises will result we will get a new promise which is nothing but the new tab in the new tab we are typing this mukesh at gmail.com so in order to run I will open terminal not this one so this thing we have discussed earlier in the previous videos what we are doing is this particular spec file is available inside test folder so you are seeing npx playwright test go to test folder run the spec file and I want to see in headed mode when you don't mention headed mode it will run in the headless mode so let me hit enter okay so something went wrong it says okay so I missed one await here okay let's run it again and it's done it was too fast I totally agree so let me add some weight here just to show you uh, so before we type this I will use await again uh, new page dot wait for timeout and let me give 5000 millisecond which is basically 5 seconds so once we got the new page I will wait for 5 seconds then I will type in the new tab again execute see we got a new tab after 5 seconds it typed and again it's closing the browser so again if you want to see what you can do maybe add some additional weights of 3 seconds this you can reduce to 3 seconds these weights are just to see the it's working correctly but once you are done you don't have to do this see typed and we are done now suppose after this you want to come back to this and you want to type or do any activity on this page okay so let's say this is input tag name equal to email one id equal to email one so after this I want to come back to the main tab so if I have to work on the main tab I will be using page so await page dot locator since I'm going to use ID so I will use hash ID then I can use fill 
let's say I want to type admin at the rate email dot com and let's say after this you want to close the second tab that you open right so you can use await new page dot close so this will only close the new page that you created still the main page is active so type wait close come back to this and again if you have to do any other activity on the main page you can continue so execute once again it opened wait for three seconds type wait for three seconds close the tab then it typed here again it was too fast to see this so I can add here one more time type yeah so it says target page okay so okay so if you see this error it says wait for timeout target page context or browser has been closed so I did a small mistake actually I'm closing this page right first then I'm using the same page here since that page is no longer available I will use page yeah so let's quickly execute again and this time it opened type wait for three seconds close again it typed on the main page and we are done so it says passed so yeah that's how you can do it um, so for the time being I added this so I can remove it because adding this weights purposefully will slow down the script so that is the main reason why we are moving to playwright because of the faster execution yeah so I will give you this code snippet either in my blog post or in the description of this video so go ahead and try this let me know if you face any issue and uh, in case if I new to playwright I would highly recommend you to watch this playlist because in this playlist, I have mentioned everything from the scratch, how to download, install, how to write the first test and so on. So yeah, give it a try. Let me know if you face an issue and I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.